Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, episode 53. I'm your host, Dr. Director Jester. And I'm the Niskel. And you picked another wrong episode to turn into, folks. Oh, no, God, no. It's, it, is it all chows? We are all doing chow races. And, oh, you think it's just going to be all four of these chow races? No! No, no, no. We're just doing one of these. <sighs> this is the jewel races. This is the main breadth of the uh, Chow races, uh, really one of the two big, huge leagues that the game has to offer. There are four different courses with five different levels. And hey, get those God. goddamn Steven Universe, you, get those goddamn Steven Universe references off the screen. That's mm, that's not right, man. They're right. all over the place. All, all right, well here, well I'm gonna do you guys a great service. I'm only going to be showing you the first and the last levels of each of them. Okay. Oh, thank you. Is that fair? That is, I, I, I had to sit. I had to sit here and do all of these, all five at the same time. And as you recall, I just did a super chow cheat to where Dejime and Shithy both have three thousand <laughs> level ninety nine skills. So uh, I'm not even going to be touching the stamina button here to this first <laughs> race, just to show you just how fast we are. God damn. God However. Dear. There is a reason why I chose Deji Mei and Shithi specifically for the two, for the uh, Super Chow Cheat, I suppose. Mm -hmm. It's because they have a high intelligence. It's because we've been taking them to school a lot, too. Oh. Because the Chow, the Chow races also test your Chow's intelligence and brain power. You're going to be surprised as to how complex these little guys actually are. Wait, it's a little crazy. Wait a minute. They're, they're t testing their, their intelligence and all their other skills that they may have learned at school in a foot race? Like, do they have to answer trivia questions on the way through each lap of the race, or what uh, are you doing? Uh, you'll see. We'll get there. We'll get there towards like the later ones. Uh, okay. Right now, this is this is aqua this is the uh, aqua marine course, which is focused most uh, mostly on swimming, as you can see. Gotcha. And here's the last one. This is the fifth one, the toughest one. You you say the toughest one, but we're gonna leave them in the goddamn dust. We're gonna leave them in the goddamn dust. <laughs> Because I noticed they weren't even in the right state from that last race. I mean, yeah, and one of them fell. So, uh, so he's just like dead. I mean, yeah. can you imagine like the different camera angles being like a kill wall or something like that? And every time they go off the plane, they're just <laughs> dead. So this is what Dejime is actually running from. He's running from the kill plane that was installed in this game. I sort of wish I had direct control over my chat in these races, <laughs> like. All I all I can do is just tell him to use his stamina here, which of course makes him go faster. And that's really all I can do. You know what I could actually see you doing? You'd be the type that lets them go a little bit far ahead just to give them a tad bit of hope, and then you just rush right past them, just giving not them quite. no I'm, hope. I'm not, you got it backwards, dude. I'm the guy who waits right at the finish line, <laughs> and then right when they just start to come around the corner, and just when they think they got a chance, I just and oh, step oops. over. Up, uh, sorry. Did you want that first place? <laughs> You're not gonna get so, it. So, so uh, Digimon gets a Sonic doll. That's not very uh, creepy at all for winning the Aquamarine course. So now we'll go ahead and move on. So, and the way I'm, the way I'll do this, I'm gonna alternate. Digimon gets the first race. So, oops, we already used Digimon. So, uh, we'll go ahead and use Shithy for the other race, and we'll just keep going back and forth from Digimon to Shithy, Shithy, and then Digimon to Shithy. So. Uh, okay. Make sure everybody gets their turn, you know? So next was the Topaz races, where the key to winning is flying. Alright, answer me this, ex expert. Go ahead. We're doing these races, and uh, what is it? We need to finish every single minigame to get one emblem, or there's an emblem for every minigame you complete? Uh, there are four different races. There's there's the jewel. Well, actually, there's five races. There's the beginner race, the jewel race, the challenge race, the hero race, and the dark races. All five of those races get you one emblem if you are in first place for all of them. Okay. Now, also answer me this. Oh, uh -huh. oh, master of Sonic Adventure Two. Please, please get off my dick. Um, there's five tiers to every single race, and you're doing it for like a doll. A toy. A toy. Essentially, yeah. Just any toy. 
Just something they can play with, and if they went to school, they'd know how to play with the toy, you know? Okay. We've been raising these things for, like, ever, and we never got them a toy? No, we got them a toy. Every time that they won one of the beginner races in the last level, they got themselves a toy. So is this, like, the only way you can, like, get some of the higher class toys? There's, like we... uh, some things you can get from the black markets, like, you know, stumps and <laughs> mushrooms and bags and stuff I like am... that. And they, that, that uh, not... if your chow is smart enough, they can realize, oh, this is a hat, I can put it on my head. So I am not... <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> There's a lot of shit going into the chows, man. They spent a lot of time on these motherfuckers. You're telling me we went to a black market to get our young chows presents. And you don't think that'll mess some of them up? I mean, you could have accidentally gotten them something sharp. They could have hurt themselves. Or they could have gotten something adult. And then what would we have to tell them? It's just like, well, dude, oh yeah, when you get older, you can fuck yourself with this one, but you just had to go, for, you know, for the cheap toys that are at the black market. You need to make them work for their toys. I don't know why you're so mad, but you oh. see, you, you just you just go to the black market for hats. You gotta win your toys, though. Are you talking like a hash hat? Like they got like hidden drugs in their hats? <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? That's the only thing I can think of. We're getting in the black market. <laughs> You know, I think Black Market was a poor choice of words when they were localizing this game. <laughs> I mean, it's a locker inside of a school. What can you really <laughs> smuggle inside of a school? And look, he gets a broom. What kind of a fucking toy is that, huh? <laughs> well, I mean, that's better than the toys we were getting. We just need to make them work. At, like, day in and day out. Level 99... They must be exhausted by now from the <laughs> intensive training you put them through. Hyperbolic time chamber their ass all the way up to these high levels just to get them a toy worth goddamn playing with. It was just recently Christmas and they had to work for their toy. Well, you know, <sighs> it's it's <laughs> different for it's different for a chow, man. <laughs> I'm learning so much. Yeah, it's it's I, not cool being a chow, but see, all these chows, they're happy about it. <laughs> are you sure two of them are dead? Oh, wait, he woke I'm, up. Okay. Oh. So, uh, let's see if we can't uh, go full throttle with Deji Bay here. Okay, okay, let's let's see what he could do. This is what level 99 does to you. After all, this is uh, the running portion of the, of the chow races. <laughs> do you and I did, I did not know this... Huh? But uh, apparently, your Chow uses stamina to actually run in the race. Like, a little bit? Like, actually moving. It, it it does a little bit of chip uh, stamina usage, I guess, oh. when the Chow is actually running. And when your Chow's stamina is depleted, then that reduces all of their stats by, like, almost 80%. Good lord! Yeah. So I could just imagine, like, our, our Dejime is running, he's running and running with all of his heart, and then all of a sudden he comes to a dead stop because he's so tired. Yeah, did you see how slow he went at the end Yeah, there? I noticed. He, he just... Pretty much. That's really interesting. I didn't know that. There's a lot to this fight. Like, you could make a whole game about the Chows, like, just that. In fact, Sega, here's a free idea for you. Make a Chow game on mobile devices. You know what? It'll probably do better than Sonic Rush. Not Sonic Rush. Sonic Jump. Do a and lot Sonic better than Dash. that. Sonic Dash. Both of those, really. Yes. We're also going to be seeing a lot of different chows during these races and karate segments. <laughs> well, I mean, these are just the global competitors coming in for the best race of their careers. Look at this guy. Is he Russian? No, he's just going fast. <laughs> 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 I'm dead inside. Uh, How much longer? <laughs> well, we're about... Oh, we're not even halfway done yet, man. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Stra strap in, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm wondering. You know, we basically... We basically gave our chow the, the Sonic Adventure 2 equivalent of doping for, like, straight hours. We basically created two Dolph Lundgrens. What can that do to a chow's mind? <laughs> he's, he's thinking... 
There is nothing for me except to work out, become stronger, become the best. Well, that's why be they good have toys at the end of the races. <laughs> it's, that's kind of like the, uh, what, what would you call that? I'm trying to think of something just to calm them down. They're suppressant, I guess. <laughs> Sedative? Sedative! Yeah, we can use that one. It's just like they get so much into the into the thrill of the game that they can't be stopped. You, and only a toy, such as a coloring book. Oh, look! He can, gets a, look, he gets a picture book! Or, like, a cup. No, no, it's a picture book. Oh, it is? Yeah, or well, something. I mean, well, why, would they give you a, why would they give you a coloring book with the... With the pictures already colored in, huh? Well, you know what? He can color in it anyway. It's his fucking book. Well, I suppose. Uh, All right, now it's Shithy's turn to take on the Garnet races. Oh, good. In the Garnet race, uh, Shithy can be the one that actually gets the crayons for the coloring book. And then he and Deji may have to actually... <laughs> they have to, you know, play nicely. I forgot what all these prizes were, so we'll have to keep an eye on that when we finish. All right, I'm looking for crayons. Non-toxic uh, crayons, of course. Again, all all these chow are dead on the inside. They have no soul. <laughs> That's what all this doping does to you, man. I can't believe we we submitted these chows to like ages of doping. So, uh, I just wanted to keep to uh, remind you about the numbers here as to why we're actually doing the super chow cheat. Okay. Uh, what? if you want to be Oh, uh, yeah, here's here's one of the aspects of the race you have to do. You have to shake a tree and eat a fruit. Oh. So I, I think this is a challenge of strength, because you have to have enough strength to actually... Oh, oh. Shithy. Shithy! Come on! Oh, God. Oh, it looks like he's going pretty fast now. I mean, like, if Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, <laughs> like, tripped over his shoelaces. It's ridiculous. <laughs> How has that not happened yet? <sighs> anyway... If we want to beat all these races with a comfortable amount of, uh, of skill, we'd have to get both Dejime and Shithy to about 1,700 skill points for each of his five skills. Jeez. Running, uh, running, flying, swimming, power, and stamina. And even with our even with our cheat and with my several, several minutes of grinding, that only got us to about 310 or so. <gasps> So, oh. by going 3,000, that takes care of everything right off the bat. And that also takes care of the karate, too. So, I had plenty of good reason to do this. Well, I, I never blamed you for wanting to do this. This seems like really superfluous shit. It is. And this is only for five emblems. <laughs> oh, God. So, we're going we're gonna to spend the next three episodes oh. getting these goddamn racing emblems. Oh, good. Uh, God. It. What if I told you it's going to be worth it in the fourth episode? Uh, okay. Um, I'm still taking your word for things this far in. So don't worry. I, I plan this all out so that way it's not a fucking drag. We just got to get through this part because, hey, the game wants us to get through it too. So here we are. Oh, nice job on the time there. Break the course record, of course. Yeah, breaking records left and right. Look at that. Look at that little shithead. He's doing so All right, let's good. See All right, let's see what uh, prize uh, shit he gets here. It's a mallet. Oh, it's a pogo it's stick. It's a pogo stick. <laughs> All right. It's a bounce to your step, yeah. I would love if you could actually use the toys as, like, buffs in each race. That would be so cool. So we did all four of them, but there's still time in the episode, so what happened? Oh, well, no. There's two more races they throw on you. <laughs> good. <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah, it's so great. I love, I love races. This is great. I love this is the most exciting episode. Why <laughs> aren't you all watching episode 50 again? That has Rich's tits on it. Everyone else is. Come on, why aren't you? That one's clickbait. Go to that one. Come on! Why are you watching this one? It's just... Oh, wait, here's something, though. Wait, what? Jack in the this Box? This is where the brain power comes in. Your chow has to be smart enough to realize that this is a box that you're supposed to open and... Oh, great. What? It's also based on luck. Well, then what's the, what's the fucking point of the intelligence? Well, that's a good thing that we're level 3000 and all that shit, so we can just... <laughs> hey, get back here, you! We just had seven competitors... 
Ca no. <laughs> get hit put with a heart attack. Like, instantaneously, and we're gonna let him race still? Whenever you open that jack-in-the-box, that is just flip a coin. If tails, then you don't get to go for a few seconds. But here's the second part of the brain power. You have to... Uh, the course will give you something you have to choose out, and your chow has to pick whatever item it is. You see, it has to be this blue fruit, and there's seven blue fruits and one Sonic doll. Mm-hmm. Which means that whatever idiot is in eighth place has to get the Sonic doll <laughs> and fuck up, pretty much. And so it's, it's, it's gonna get lost. more complex later. It's, yeah, well, I wouldn't say on that class. If you're already in eighth place at this point, there's no helping you. <laughs> but you also gotta be smart enough and quick enough to realize that, hey, that's the blue fruit that I need, so we can, yeah. I, I still find the image hilarious in my mind that if you're eighth place, just don't even try. Here, here, we we gave you like a com a uh, you got this far prize. We gave you a Sonic doll instead of having you compete. And then, what was that? A pitfall. This, this rainbow path has random pitfalls in it. Again, it's Why? based on luck. So it's a good thing we're at level three thousand, so we can have enough uh, leeway into the race. So if we were to get screwed like that, like we just did. It wouldn't cost us the race and having to waste more time. <laughs> that that has nothing to do with intelligence, though. This might be a luck. Well, I think brain power is kind of based on luck as well. You know, I don't fucking know. I didn't design this stupid crap. Like, like if you're intelligent, does that mean your prayers get heard by RN Jesus? What happens? I don't know. I, I guess the smarter you are, you luck. The luckier you are. Uh, I guess. It's like. It's like, uh, all right, you two, uh, I'm gonna flip a coin. Jesus. You, you pick it's gonna be heads or tails. All right, and uh, go. I shall choose heads. Now I'm gonna pick tails. And then it's heads. Uh, kind of that sense. But again, it's good. Here, it's a good thing we're level three thousand, so we can just pass by all these guys. Hello, guys. But this is still stupid. <laughs> You're also missing the other four times where, or the three times where I. Uh, got it right so well not got it right it didn't it didn't blow up in my face see look here we gotta get a sonic doll there's only four uh... sonic dolls so i gotta make sure that i pick the right one <laughs> so everybody else eats shit and apparently we are that stupid oh wait never mind <laughs> no 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 it's just a way to make you sweat it's just a way to make you sweat we took Digimi to school enough times during the series, so... Oh, okay. okay, so he's 53 not episodes stupid. in, we better have made him smart! <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! I paid for his tuition, he better put it to good use! <laughs> I paid for his tuition, and then I got a scholarship for a million rings, so... <laughs> full ride, baby, full ride! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God, these degrees huh. be like water! They have so much! How much time is left? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Now, let's see. Let's wait for the random pitfalls. Yeah. Oh, we made it. Yeah, because we're smart. I guess that's how that works. Yeah, you want to play 90-second alphabet again? <laughs> no. I'm not smart enough for this course. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm not that lucky to have a partner like that. Mm, okay. and, oh, th oh, there's the crayons. Hey, he got the crayons after all. Look at that. All right, uh, that takes care of the last one, and we, what, that takes care of the next one. We just have this last one here, which is the diamond race. Ooh, th does that mean it's really tough? Ah! That, be that means, uh, it's shiny, I guess, I don't know. Oh, okay. Shiny! All right, so, here, general ability is also key to win. General which means ability. That that means that this is going to test everything you've done. Okay. That's brain power, that's swimming, running, flying, stamina, everything that a Chow can be tested for, we're going to be testing. And uh, I think Shithy is up to the job. I think so. Look at all these smiling losers. I mean, Shithy knows the way. We yeah. know we're going to lose, but that's okay. We just like to race. Here's a participation trophy. <laughs> 
So here, so here's the first luck-based nonsense bullshit, cockamamie fucking bullshit. Uh, suck my dick. Fuck. Oh, we made it. Okay. Yeah, look at that. You know, Shithy, I never put a lot of thought into your intelligence, but apparently you're really smart. The smartest shit. See. Uh. You one smart shithead, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, it's been about 20 or so episodes. Do you remember what the D stands for in Shithy D? Uh, no. Because I do. Shithy D. Well, this, just the D in Shithead. If you remember back, when we first named him Shithy, the D stood for something. We called him Shithy D, and the D stood for something. Do you remember what it was? Because I remember. Dichotomy, dumbass, delirious. Destiny. Oh, and now he's fulfilling his destiny. There you go. I called it destiny because he's really evil. No, I called it destiny because he's really mediocre. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> Dude, I'd throw you a lifeline, but all I have is this bungee. <laughs> Ha! Activision. <coughs> Man, no, it's not a pun, but fuck you. <laughs> God damn it, I was taking a drink. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you can see how far ahead we were of the competition here. <laughs> I mean, you probably still have one at the starting line trying to <laughs> figure out his jack-in-the-box. What we do still I do? have We still have almost a full bar of stamina left to burn <laughs> through. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> so if you wanted to rig a race like this, would you just put a pathway leading from the beginning to the end in like a back door or something like that? I'd strap a jet engine onto one of the horses, <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> you just hire in a hitman to snipe all the other horses. One in eight to win? More like one in V8 to win. <laughs> Oh, and for some reason, I got reminded of Turbo, the snail movie, and now I'm sad. Why do you remember that? No one does! That movie was so bad! We have two Cars movies! I'm making a third one! Why do you remember this shit? Because it was on, okay? I hadn't had cable in a while. I finally got to watch something, and that just happened to be on. And it sucked! <laughs> well, of course it did. It was a ripoff. It's like... DreamWorks was doing so well in making all of these original, wonderful, heartwarming movies. And they said, hey, remember when we used to rip off Pixar? Let's do that again! And so they did. Oh, I love the part when the snail races in the, in the Indy 500. Yeah, because that's a really good plot point And, you know, the characters aren't trash or anything. And, uh, you know, the whole process is... Let's put a snail that's really slow in the Indy 500, which is really fast. And I love the fact that the, you know, professional race car driver actually feels threatened by a snail. Oh, Shithy. Oh, Shithy, come on, you, you whiffed it! What are you doing? Well, if a hedgehog can beat an F1 dragster, you know, I'll believe anything. <sighs> God, that movie sucked. I just, I just Wait. wanted to throw that out there, okay? You're the, you're the one who watched it. <laughs> I know. I feel bad. <laughs> okay, I've been trying to figure it out, but there's a sound effect in this song that has been bugging me. Because every time I hear it, it sounds like something is being censored. Well, because these are the jewel races, these are just a very, very slight remix of the uh, beginner race chow song that we heard. Really? Here, I'll, 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 I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison here. This this right here is the original chow race song. And this right here is the remix that we're hearing right now. Uh, yep. See, there's a little bit of a difference. Can't you hear it? I kind of can. I, I still think it'd be really funny if the people on the sidelines were actually cursing and they actually had to bleep it, you know, for television. Well, we're actually cursing, so... Fuck shit, cock and balls, piece of fucking cut, fuck. 
Hey, I'm gonna have to bleep all those out now. Yep, I want you to bleep all that so it makes it sound like I said something offensive. <laughs> oh, oh God, damn you, you. S <sighs> I'm gonna oh, make that oh, my ring. You pilot. know, I'm gonna t I'm gonna take you saying that terrible word, and I'm gonna make it my ringtone. So whenever you text me, I'm gonna make that as a reminder that you said that terrible word. You goddamn fucking. <laughs> By the way, we got a bottle. <laughs> oh, good. Put all my maybe, sins in it. Maybe that was bubbles. And hey, that was the last word. That was the last race. We still oh. got an emblem. Oh God. Happy. Fucking birthday, you goddamn fucking <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. Goddamn. You know, we'll see you next time. Let's play Sonic Adventure 2, a wholesome, family-friendly let's play. Uh, That's uh, not going in. <clears throat> no, it's not going in, so I'm going to leave this whole thing in. Good. <laughs>